All right, I've got the package, new package from Tuman. So it has to be a new guitar. All right, folks. So let's see what we got here. What a wonderful view. So it has to be a Gibson guitar. Okay, so we'll check it out immediately. I just can't wait to try it out. I have to admit, great packing from Tumen and also great packing from Gibson uh, it's nice to see uh, this one inside we see that hard case is included I have to admit that I've been waiting long long time for this moment and I've been dreaming about this guitar even before it has started to be produced you see that is Gibson custom and one two three wow yes it's Gibson custom Explorer and as I said I've been dreaming about this guitar even before it was it has been produced because of owning uh, now two explorers and I'm sick about the black guitars of binding and it just looks amazing it is beautiful it is so so beautiful It is my really first look. I've I've opened it up with you guys. So now you can see the whole guitar. Oh man, it's gorgeous. I'm so much proud and happy with it. I'm just can't wait to plug it and try it out. It is brand new. It is a present I made for myself for the years of hard work to afford it and uh, finally it's in my home. And I want to just grab it into my hands. So, see you soon on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to see more amazing, beautiful, professional guitars. My first impressions, just out of the box, is two things that uh, neck is more rounded, more like a C-shape, I would say. Uh, very thick. And the second thing is that the guitar is very light. It's, oh God, it's very, very light. It, it feels weird at the first time because uh, my other two explorers one, which one is uh, one is gothic and one is standard. The standard one is very heavy. A gothic is lighter, but this one is much, much, much lighter. So it's a beautiful gloss ebony finish with the beautiful, beautiful binding. 
it's a multiply gloss the gold hardware and please look at this beautiful inlays the beautiful mother of pearl Also, the behind the CTS tone knobs and volume knobs, there is also the the gold. These little ones are also gold. It's a pity that uh, Hestol doesn't have a finish uh, with uh, binding, but it's okay. I would also like to see the binding over the headstock, but it is how it is. The Gibson logo. Okay, so we're gonna try this one after a while and see how it sounds. Okay, so we've got some messed up situation because the serial number of the guitar is other than on the certificate of authenticity and the checklist so I don't know what happened but I'll contact the two men and ask them for clarification but I have to admit that uh, in the instrument for that kind of money this should not happen Okay, so I write an email and show them the photos. I obviously cannot show you the serial numbers, but I'll send it to Thoman and wait and see uh, what, uh, what will be their answer. Here it says the certificate of the authenticity is for this instrument is enclosed in the pocket of the case. Yeah, but uh, this certificate is not from that guitar and that may be the problem. Okay, I have to say that uh, my biggest dream guitar just uh, became a biggest uh, disappointment and uh, mm, I have to uh, show it to you guys and you tell me what you think. Just look how the Tom Bridge has been installed. Do you see the angle? I cannot believe uh, that uh, a guitar for that uh, amount of money This is how Gibson install Tom Tom Bridge into Gibson Explorer Custom. Just I cannot believe. I'm gonna show it to you much closer. Just see how it is installed. It is the angle then can affect the intonation in the future and uh, the problem might be a lot bigger when the time goes by so uh, I also changed my mind about uh, the serial numbers because uh, 
I'm gonna show it to you that uh, the certificate of authenticity um, the last numbers are, are 86 also the the checklist the serial number is uh, 407086 here we got 407086 the certificate and uh, the checklist the last numbers are 86 and what we've got here is CS 40 17 14 CS 40 17 14 and um, I have a question and I have a question I'm sh uh, wanted to be sure to you see my face uh, I have a question to people in Gibson what the fuck are you doing man what the fuck are you doing this guitar is a whole amount of money and many people cannot afford this uh, and uh, I've been wondering for a few years before I bought it uh, because I think it debuted in 2017 yeah, so we, now today it is 2024 so seven years I've been wondering about this guitar seven years and uh, and um, just uh, try to you know afford it and uh, um, don't waste my money on other things. Uh, I wanted to have Gibson Explorer in custom. Uh, with white binding, it was my dream guitar, uh, but unfortunately, man, I do not understand why the Gibson do not have good uh, quality check. I do not understand this, man. Uh, the certificate of this guitar it is this certificate is not from the, this guitar and also the checklist is not from this guitar and uh, after that I see this thing I really do not understand this. It's like this. Just look at the angle of the Tom Bridge. I have now the guitar straight. Look at the angle of the Tom Bridge. It is so unacceptable for any guitar, not on not only the expensive guitar ones. Oh. I just not I do not believe that a, a company has st stood for for many years had many many Gibson guitars because I already had two explorers uh, I've got uh, Les Paul uh, and uh, already had a ton of them and uh, wanted to have something from the new
it became like this the serial number once again the serial number of the checklist I do not believe that because that checklist is, is not from this guitar 86 two last numbers 86 two last numbers of the certificate of authenticity and these are the last numbers from my guitar two last numbers are 14 and I've uh, changed my mind to show you to show you these uh, serial numbers uh, just because to nobody could buy this guitar again unfortunately uh, because uh, man it became so much disappointment uh, especially especially uh, the tone bridge because certificate I don't know maybe Gibson could you know resend it or something but uh, but uh, I just think that the placement of the of the tone bridge the placement of the tone bridge is so much unacceptable man I cannot believe that the guitar for almost 23,000 zlotys so it is um, I don't know Uh, five and a half grand of US dollars where is the quality check on the Gibson why just why uh, this guitar has also a few things that I didn't mention because I was not sure but the binding here looks like this and also the case just works through like this and uh, when you try to you know see at this there's no quality here man yeah so it became a little rant over the Gibson custom but sorry guys sorry guys but uh, guitar any guitar should not go to the client um, in that shape or form there is no quality over here so sorry Gibson I probably never will try any Gibson custom in the near future and for my viewers you can judge by yourself you can judge by yourself I have no words because I've been thinking about this guitar seven years. Got my money, and when it arrived, it is first guitar in my um, twenty-year work on guitars. It is the only guitar that will be returned this that is the only guitar that will be returned 
All right. So if you like my content, please support my channel and subscribe to see the future videos and if it is worth to buy some of the products on the market or save your money for the other things or brands so cheers and big thanks to the Toman because um, I already contacted with them and uh, I think it will be full refund with uh, with uh, shipping back the guitar so yeah guitar was very professionally packed but the product is not worth the money at that point and has uh, and has a very serious disadvantages that may uh, in future years become even worse so thanks for the support please subscribe my channel and uh, judge by yourself bye